to Jesus I surrender All to Him I freely give Thank you everyone here the murderer because one sin put Jesus Christ on the cross That's why he had to die, an innocent man had to die for our sins So technically everyone here, if you sin one time You're a murderer because you're, you're responsible for putting Jesus on the cross that's why the Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So God, uh, Jesus Christ went to the cross for the very sins that you're committing today. A man had to die so we can all go free. And this is the grace of God. This is what the gospel is. Get off the cross. We need the wood. And this is what the gospel is. Doesn't the Bible say thou shalt not judge? No. No. It doesn't, do, you want, do you want to know what it actually says? The Bible, the Bible says, judge not, least ye be judged. By the same measure that you judge others is by the same measure you will be judged. First, get the, listen, then it, then it says, first get the plank out of your eye. Well, you're not, you're not letting me finish. It says, first get the plank out of your eye. Then you can see clearly to get the, then you can see clearly to get the um, moat out of your brother's or sister's eye. The thing is, it's teaching us how to judge. The Bible says, our spiritual man judges all things, yet is judged by none so we make judgments every day um you matter of fact uh, her asking me that question shouldn't you not judge is a judgment we make judgments every day we can't um navigate the human condition without making judgments um what it comes down to is that you guys you guys have been told and you've been deceived and you've been lied to where you think that all these different lifestyles and all these different things are okay when they're not because the bible says that sin leads to death the Bible says, unless you repent, you will likewise perish. The Bible says, people that act like you and don't repent, you deserve punishment. And that punishment, it doesn't matter. But the Bible is like oxygen. The Bible is like gravity. You don't have to believe in it, but it's true. The Bible says, every knee is going to bow, and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. People, all you LGBTQ people are going to stand before God one day. You're going to stand before God one day, and and what's going to happen is you're going to get judged by the law. And if you're judged by the law, everyone here is guilty. Listen to the screams. You hear those screams? That's what hell sounds like. Listen, listen. But the thing is, but they're not going to be screams of joy. They're going to be screams of pain. The Bible says that you'll be cast out the outer darkness where they'll be weeping, wailing. Now look, what you guys were doing was wailing. The Bible says there's going to be a whole bunch of wailing in hell. Um, your same-sex partner doesn't love you if they're not trying to save you from hell. How exactly, without relying on the word of your God itself, can you vouch for your God telling the truth? Other than him saying that he is telling the truth, what assurance do you have that it's not lies? Like, there is no assurance without the assurance. Says who? I feel like it says logic. Okay, well, tell me about logic. In what way do you have any assurance that your God is telling the truth other than your God saying he's telling the truth? Okay, but what's, what, what standard are you going to... What, what step, by what standard will you judge my answer? By, by your own reasoning? By the rules of logic. And reason. Right, what are the rules of logic? The rules of logic are that your answer cannot be inherently contradictory to itself. Okay, amen. So God never contradicts himself. There are over 300 con direct contradictions of instruction to man in the Bible. Show me one. Um, now I you, have a Bible. I know because you, what you're doing is you're lying and you're making up you're making up information that's not true. Now to answer your question, to answer your question, the Bible the Bible is a record. It's a record of human of mankind. It's a record of God. It's a record about Jesus, and it's a record about the the uh, the human condition and the world in general. Just like every you learn how to uh, read through a book, you learn how to write through rather the spoken or written word. The Bible is the spoken written word of God, and that's how can we know it's true. And you know how we know it's true because you believe that there's a right and wrong. Without God, there is no right. Also, oh, there's no right or wrong. There is no objective right or wrong. No. Okay, so is rape wrong? 
In, yeah. I'd okay, but you just said there was no objective right or wrong. So now why is rape wrong? So that's just one mistake that you made. Now, let me go back to another thing. The standard is God. God because God says it's right or wrong. Um, a rapist doesn't think it's wrong. That's why he rapes. So yeah, what's your stand? Now look, you just backtracked though. You said there is no objective right, right or wrong. And then I said, is rape wrong? And you said yes. So that makes you a hypocrite. Okay. Rape is wrong because in humans, that's we have the ability to conceive of a conception oh, of consent. Exactly. You said it wasn't wrong. Ducks literally do not reproduce without rape. You said there's no right or wrong. The, the thing is, the, the minute you say there's no right or wrong, and then I ask you, is rape wrong? And you say, yes, it's wrong. It shows the hypocrisy of your stance. It shows there's no logic in how you think. Now, you asked me a question. You said, how do I know that God is true? Or how do I know that the standard of God? No, no, how do you know God is honest? Amen. Because what's right and wrong? Because God set the standard for right or wrong. You know why rape is wrong? Because God says so. You know why stealing is wrong? Because God says so. You know why homosexuality? sexuality is wrong because God said so. The standard for right and wrong is God. The thing is you, you're borrowing my worldview to make a point which you cannot. Do you believe we evolved here or do you believe that you were created? I believe in evolution because it's obvious. Okay so in evolution that means uh, we evolved um, randomly through a series of random events. So why is there why is right or wrong in evolution in evolution why why is it right or wrong? Matter of fact it's survival of the fittest or, it's, or, or natural selection. Tell me where's morals in evolution? It's what serves the species. Okay, so if, if there's only two men left on earth and there's one woman and that woman doesn't want to procreate, we have to so we can procreate to preserve our species. According to you, according to you, you said it's about the, per, the preservation of a species. So that, so, so in that, in that mind, in that mindset, that means rape is right because we have to, we have to, because we have to, we have to enhance our species. At that point, there is not enough humans left on Earth for the species. If there's two men and there's one woman, that, that's enough to populate the whole world. No, it is. That's how that's how the world was populated through Adam and Eve. Even 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 science tells us that we all came from a. a, a um, a, a common ancestor, that's, that's what you believe. So, how did that common ancestor start? So, I'm not going to spend the time to explain evolution to someone. Because you don't know evolution. You don't understand evolution. I've spent enough time to understand it. Okay, so, so you, I, just, I just explained it. I just explained it to you. Tell me, tell me. Okay, look. Evolution, evolution is a, is a is is a is a succession of chemical reactions. It's a it's a succession of chemical reactions. So just like if I got a, a two soda cans and shook them together, um, it's just that's the same thing. Evolution is it's just a chemical reaction according to you. Um, 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 an, an amoeba or it rained on a rock. A rock turned into an amoeba. An amoeba turned into some sort of um, amphibian, which got on Earth, which turned into a a, a a monkey, which evolved from there. Now in that process, there is no morality, so you have no grounds to tell me what's right or wrong. In evolution, there is no morality. Reason. Where does reason come from? Reason comes from the exercise of thought. Where does thought come from? It's an emergent property of a very complex biological organism. Where does the biological organism come from? Less complex biological organism. And where do they come from? Less complex biological Yeah, so I'm saying, so, so, so once again, if you say that all we are is complex bioorganisms, who cares about right or wrong? And that's why, and that's why, and this is why you gotta convince yourself, you gotta convince yourself you came from a monkey, because the thing is you have a heart and heart, and you don't wanna bow down to the laws of God. Because the laws of God tell you unless you repent, you will likewise perish. So what you do is you suppress the truth and unrighteousness. The Bible says everyone knows that there's a God, but they suppress the truth and unrighteousness so they can live the way that they wanna live. There is no right or wrong if there's no God. I can do whatever I want to do if there's no God, and so can you, because there's no standard of truth. And that goes back to this original point of the conversation. God is the standard of truth, because uh, uh, if there is no God, we should, be, we should be able to do whatever we want to do. So you're telling me right now, all of us who are sitting in the pride parade, right? You're telling us right now, we kneel down to the Lord Jesus Christ, to the Word of the Christian God. We will be repented and we will be saved. Amen. Amen. And yes, sir. If I kneel down right now, can I suck his dick? That was, 
That was disgusting. And and you, and you know you know why you guys are celebrating? Because all he does is validate your flawed thinking and your flawed mind. That, and, and you know why you have flawed thinking and flawed mind? Because a lot of you have been a lot of you a lot of you your, your mom and dad dropped the ball. A lot of you a lot of you went through a lot of some hard harder way. Calm down. Calm, calm down. You know you will be you will be respectful. You will be respectful. I, I don't know. Relax then. Relax. You will be respectful. You okay, I'll let you say something, but you will be respectful. Don't grab my stuff. Don't grab my stuff. Not, okay. I have my hands right here. I have my hands right here. Just you grab my stuff. You grab my stuff. Just I'll hold it. I don't I don't trust you anymore because you came in like a demon. Relax. 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 Don't you have any respect? Aren't you from the love is love community? Well then love love a Christian. Okay. Okay, it's okay that I'm aggravating. You have some self-control. Okay. Okay. This okay, honestly, I have nothing against Christians or anything like that. Okay? But all this all this is bullshit, okay? You don't need to be here right now. You don't need to be here right now. All this is bullshit. Love is love, and we will love who we want to love. You can go home, because you don't need to be here. Nobody wants you here, okay? And the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, we didn't come from no Adam and Eve. We came from fucking Lilith and Satan. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Eve, Eve was writing Satan's dick. And that's how she became Lilith. So you guys, you guys, you guys, you need to go home, okay? Because nobody wants to hear your lies anymore. I came from a I, I came from a Pentecostal home and I re I removed myself from that because what? you know what? Because the thing about it is you guys, you guys you guys just release hate into the world. You guys don't let people have their freedom and want to be loved. And the thing about it is, at the end of the day, there is no God, okay? There is no God. At the end of the day, there is no God, okay? At the end of the day, I, I met somebody who died, and all the day, when you die, it's just pitch blackness. It's just darkness, okay? You are free to love who you want to love. Don't listen to the bullshit that this guy has to say. At the end of the day, they're all wrong. Hey, she's absolutely right. She's absolutely right. You're free to love who you want to love, and you'll go to hell if you don't repent. So you're, you're, you're free to do anything. You're free. You're free to, um, to to participate in sodomy. You're free. Okay, one second. You're free to be angry. You're free to do all these things. But the Bible said that you're also free to go to hell. You're leading yourself to hell by all these sinful actions. And this lady was all over the place. She went from Jewish fables to there is no God. Um, and but she, she she admitted one thing: Satan is her daddy. She said that she was born of Lilith and Satan, and that's true. Because anyone that doesn't have God is of Satan, and it's true. And you know what? Asinine the statement "love is love is." That's like saying a hot dog is a hot dog. That's just like saying a human is a human. A defined love is love. What does it mean? That's a slogan that you got from TV and you don't even know what it means. Tell me what it means. Tell, uh, tell me what love is love means. No one, no one here can explain what love is because you don't know what love is. I know your answer is going to be God is love and all that shit, but here's the thing. Why would we listen to your God who's also a hypocrite? Your God says don't murder, but why did he tell his people to murder other people, the Israelites to murder other tribes and people? So if God created human beings, uh, it's not murder, it's called punishment, it's called eradication of, of evil. If, if, um, if, if, the, uh, if, the, uh, if the Israelites would have listened to what God said, there wouldn't be no atheists on the planet, we wouldn't have to preach to homosexuals because they got it, they would have eradicated back in the day when God told them to eradicate it. But now the world is full of evil. What God was trying to do is cleanse the world of evil. And had, and had, um, that was Saul, right? Had Saul listened, no, you're not a good human. You're a terrible human. I'm a terrible human. Yeah, the Bible says. Have you ever lied? Have I ever lied? Of course. So that, so you're a liar. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever used the Lord name in vain? Wait, wait. You claim to be a good human. You claim to be a good human. I didn't. You did. You did. You did. The Bible says there is. The Bible says all humans are bad. I have two questions. Calm down. Calm down. You, 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 you rapid fire. Rapid fire. Let's go. Questions you didn't answer. I have two questions. Yeah. One was, are you a bad human? My answer was yes. The Bible says no one is good, no not one, no one sinks after God. The Bible says there's only one perfect person to walk this earth, and that was Jesus Christ.